still a city, still so far from What's going on, guys? Right now, guys, I'm about to walk outside. Oh, man. It is a cold day out here. So cold, I don't think uh, my key fob is going to work. Let me press the button. Let's press it unlock. Nothing. So this is my Lexus IS250. It is the 2006 version, which is the first model of the IS250 that came out. Again, we got our Lexus key fob here. And when I press the button, it should unlock. It's not doing unlock, it's not doing lock. It's got a really weak battery on here. So with the key fob in my hand, see if we can touch the door yeah. as you can see we're also having issues trying to get inside let's do it like this nope nope try lock down lock and unlock that will be lock that will be unlock negative Let's try. Sometimes you gotta. Okay, so now let's seize it. Still nothing. Okay. What I'm trying to do is try to get it to unlock. You can. There it goes. You can do it manually from underneath here. You just basically gotta pull the key out. Take my truck key and pop the cover off. We're going to basically take this key off of here and plug it in there. So let's first take this. Uh... Let's pin up. There we go. Let's take the key off. All right, so these are the three things. And now just take the key out kind of bend that back to that area push this through and then grab this kind of squeeze her out push it all through like that all right so now we can unlock this So now we got the key. Stick the key in. Turn. Unlock. Now, before I even try to start it up, what I want to actually do is move the battery and show you guys how to start it with the battery completely dead. This is our Lexus IS250 key fob. We'll release this pin so that way we can get this key fob and loose. Just pull this out like so. Alright, so work our way out. Cool. First, what I'm gonna do is release the key and you just basically slide that to the right and pull. basically be the key to open up the doors and the trunk. That's what this key works for. And then there's a little trick for this to uh, utilize your key fob, even though it's dead, to start up your car. I see something. There we go. I got it open. A little bit too much force, but I got it open. Basically this portion is the battery that we need to replace. Hopefully you guys can see that. And it basically sits in the housing like this. These are the buttons, which will correspond to this location, but in this type of manner, all right? So be sure to note exactly how your setup is. We're gonna go ahead and remove this battery here but 
I'm just gonna use it anyway. Okay, I highly recommend that you guys use a smaller flathead screwdriver so that way you don't damage the inside. I'm gonna show you guys how to start your vehicle without a battery. The battery type is CR1632. Again, CR1632, that's the battery type. And I'm just doing this uh, without the battery to show you guys how to start up your vehicle without it. So we're just gonna make believe that the battery is still in here, but it's completely dead, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and close the housing. All right, housing is closed. Now let's go to our vehicle. I'm gonna put this back in here. Oh yeah, we got the big, big old Tonka. Tonka truck. And then my play toy. There's no battery in here. We're basically gonna resemble a true dead battery, okay? So I'm gonna put my foot on the brake as we normally do. I'm gonna press on the engine start button. Okay, as you can see, key is not detected. All right, so what I'm gonna do is release my foot from the brake. Press again. All right, now my foot's back on the brake. I'm gonna take my key fob and I'm gonna bring it up close to. Now, as you can see, it went green, okay? So now what we're gonna do is press the button. So there we go, guys. We were able to start our vehicle up. More than likely, there's a resistor in the key fob of which that communicates directly to uh, the push start button of which when we actually put it near, it's able to establish a direct communication that allows us to start the engine up. So I would highly recommend this process. Say for instance, you know, um, you're on your way home from some sort of destination and your key fob battery just completely dies to basically spare you the cost of getting your vehicle towed, especially if you don't financially have the money. This will definitely save you some money, some time. However, I do highly, highly, highly recommend, guys, that if you do proceed with this process to uh, purchase a replacement battery for your key fob. Highly recommend that you do so. In fact, if you're watching this video, you should have a spare battery just in case something like this does happen um, it would be beneficial to kind of keep a spare battery in your actual vehicle so in an event that this does happen you could just basically get in your vehicle swap out the battery start it up and keep it moving now for sit situations where you may leave your spare battery at home at least you can still start your vehicle up get home replace the battery I do not highly recommend that you continue to use this process by pressing up to the keypad and, you know, start and stopping uh, because, you know, I, I can't really state if it's a continuous thing that will work. But, um, yeah, it works for right now. As you can see, she's good. Let's go ahead and uh, open the door, close the door. And as you can see, key is not detected. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to search for my spare key uh, batteries. I put it somewhere in my house, but I just got to figure out where it's at. All right, guys. So I found my spare batteries. Again, we're looking for a CR1632 battery. Let's hope that <laughs> that is in here by the fall. I can already tell that's a no. So let's see. That's definitely a no. That's CR2025. Come on, baby. Let's see what we got here. Oh, man. That's still a no. That's CR2032. We need 1632. Uh-oh. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. CR1632. I got two left. Plus this one. Oh, it looks like we may happen to have an additional... Probably additional one that's on the loose, but this is uh, the replacement right here. 
CR1632. If you guys can see that, CR1632. And this side is gonna basically be on the surface of our key fob. So I'm gonna put the bad one off to the side so I don't forget that. And let me put the new one right there. And actually I'm gonna take the bad one, move it far away. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy off of here. Again, my hands are extremely cold from being outside so so the proper way to open this thing up is right here there's a little little indenture or crevice where you can basically get a flat head in there right there and you just basically split it apart and there we go now she's open. Okay, that's the proper way to open this thing back up. Okay, so this side here is gonna go right in there. Right? So we're just gonna pop that bad boy right in there. Position her right in there. Um, we can. We can make it look good. Let's see if we can get that plus up there. There we go. Made it look good for you guys. All right? This chip right here is what is directly communicating to our vehicle ignition. So now let's reinsert our key. I love to keep it in the shell. It keeps it uh, nice and protected. Pretty much go either way. Now, I have the washer. All right, now let's put in our lock and pin. Ouch. Come on, this thing is, this disposition is too awkward. Stop. There we go. Stop. Position was super duper awkward. All right, here's the first attempt. Let's unlock. And that's lock. Let's roll down the windows by holding down this button. Holding down the unlock, it's gonna unlock. Windows and sunroof. Is it? All roof open. Let's just go ahead and I just want to get everything back. And some roof. Watch. We successfully replace the battery on this key fob for our lexus is250 highly recommend that you guys that have uh, other lexus or toyota vehicles to give this a shot um, and see if this will help your situation which it should on that note guys don't forget to like comment subscribe and share my video i'm out peace